Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And you know it's all about Him. If the release of God's power is dependent on me to come up with just the right combination of words strung together to form just the right prayer, then the world is a sorry state. I place my faith and trust in the God who promises me that His word will not return void. Isaiah 55 verse 11. There is no greater joy for me than seeing God's transforming power unleashed in the lives of another person as I pray. But I always remember it's all about him and it's not about me. Several years ago, a well-dressed stranger approached me during a worship service. She wanted to ask me a question, but the music was quite loud and she gestured for me to follow her into the lobby. I reluctantly agreed, but I had that niggly inside of my gut that this wasn't going to turn out well. I became alarmed when the person uh, insisted that I had a word for her from God. I had no such confirmation, although I do believe that God speaks today. And I stumbled on my words as I tried to guide her back into the sanctuary. I explained that I had stepped back from active ministry for a brief period of time and I was in a season of personal healing. I further explained that I was not part of the prayer team at that church and as such I was not sanctioned to minister to others there. I was quite new to that church to be honest. She still insisted that I had a word and somehow I managed to pray a little blessing over her and then I looked for an escape route. I spotted an elder in the church and with great relief I passed the troubled woman over to him. I'm sad to report that this woman never got it. She was constantly seeking, asking people to pray for her, to seek God for any Bible verses, etc. And it got to the point that she actually was traveling across the United States and Canada just looking for somebody who would have the right word for her at the right time. This misguided woman believed that if she received prayer from just the right person, that person could tell her what God wanted her to do and all her problems would be solved. She really missed the point. I often come across Christians who believe that if they attend enough crusade meetings and call enough prayer lines that they'll find the prayers and the answers that they are desperately looking for. My heart actually cries because they're missing the point. When we expect another person to be our source of peace, affirmation, and assurance, we are guaranteed to be disappointed. Our hope must rest in God, the unchanging, sturdy as a rock, safe in any storm, God. The shed blood of Jesus gives us full access to the throne room and God waits for us there, longing to draw us close so we can hear his voice. He alone can bring that peace to our troubled hearts. And when we realize that God is the source of all good things in our lives, we'll then wean ourselves from unhealthy dependencies on our brothers and sisters in Christ. But hold on a sec. Am I advocating a just Jesus and me gospel? By all means, no. We need the counsel, wisdom, and encouragement of the body of Christ. I believe it is impossible to flourish as a Christian without being in fellowship with other believers. It is wise to seek confirmation from trusted advisors and counselors, but it is foolish to not seek God's guidance first. As I 
reread this just now. I wrote this a few years ago. I was reminded of the way that children try to play their parents off one another. Johnny wants uh, candy and asks his mother and his mother says no. So what does the little Johnny do? He scoots off into the living room in search of his grandmother and asks the same question. Can I have a piece of candy? Now, a wise grandmother will turn to little Johnny and say, have you asked your mother if you could have a piece of candy? Quite often God has already given us the answer to the questions that we're asking, but sometimes we don't want to hear the answer or accept that answer, especially if that answer will require us to do some sacrificing and giving up of our little comfort zone. And so we will ask other people, hoping that they'll say to us, you know, you're being too hard on yourself. I think God just wants you to just go along with your life. You're doing okay. You might need a little bit of prep work before your heart is open to hearing his voice. Resist that temptation to seek out the counsel of others before you seek out the counsel of the Lord.